Investment properties are such a personal choice and the most common question from soon-to-be landlords is, what type of property should I buy? Today we'll start with what you shouldn't buy. This differs for everybody, but if you are strapped for cash and rely on a regular income from your property, you should steer clear of these. Number one, timber homes. Although quaint and very popular with tenants, timber homes undoubtedly require more maintenance. Painting will need to be carried out every 10 to 20 years. Veranda boards will continually require replacement and or oiling, and there's a higher risk of termite infestation. Number two, high turnover properties. Units and duplexes can offer a higher return on investment than a house, but they also have a much higher turnover of tenants. Depending on the vacancy rates, you might find that you are much better off to buy something that attracts a long-term occupancy. Number three, acreage properties. The more rural the property, the more that can go wrong. Pumps burn out, water tanks leak, gutters get clogged, fences deteriorate, and the further out of town the property is, the more you'll be paying for tradespeople to attend when something does go wrong. Number four, flutters. Yes, they are cheap, but they are harder to get finance for, sometimes impossible to get insurance for, and they are not attractive to tenants. Do yourself a favour and stay high and dry. Number five, steep driveways. We all know that above the road is better than below the road, but steep driveways should always be avoided. Tenants with low cars or high four-wheel drives will automatically dismiss the property after a drive-by, and these homes often have drainage issues. To find out what does make the ideal investment property, be sure to watch our next video and subscribe.